means you're a loser. It's true. Turns to shit, okay? It's true. It's true. Look at what's happening. <laughs> covered Kerry Lake for the better part of the last year and a half here. And I think it was perhaps fitting to be here across from Mar-a-Lago today. I finally flew yesterday from Arizona here. And essentially, though, I felt like it was covering Donald Trump's campaign of 2024, but in Arizona over the last year. She predicated her campaign on trying to sell the big lie and trying to sell the conspiracy theories. When she wonders how she lost this race, look at it. This is the third election cycle in a row in which Arizonans rejected Trumpism. In the final week of her campaign, who did she campaign alongside? She campaigned alongside Steve Bannon. She campaigned alongside one of the chief promoters of Pizzagate. She campaigned alongside an individual who promoted the notion of the war on white people. She campaigned alongside State Senator Wendy Rogers, who just earlier this year was here in Florida speaking at a white nationalist conference, somebody who frequently spews anti-Semitism. This is an individual who just last week called her Democratic opponent a pervert. This is an individual who suggested there should be perp walks for elections officials, criminal charges against individuals who oversaw COVID response in 2020 in Arizona. This is an individual who's celebrating putting a dagger into the quote, the McCain machine. She asserted that Cindy McCain wants to end America. She called Mike Lindell one of the great patriots of our time. She said Dinesh D'Souza is one of the greatest patriots in America. She suggested Paul Gosar was the kind of lawmaker our founding fathers envisioned. She called the media the right hand of the devil, the scourge of the earth. If that doesn't sound like Donald Trump, I don't know what does. And ultimately, the big question was, was she going to be able to make that sell here? And the answer is no, according to Arizona voters. And when you look at that slate of election deniers, from Tudor Dixon to Tim Michaels uh, to uh, Jim Marchant in Nevada to Mark Fincham, she was the latest one to fall, essentially making it a clean sweep of those not only election denier gubernatorial candidates and secretary of state candidates. And now Donald Trump is going to go and try to run on the very message that all these folks lost on.